Hi, in this video I'm looking at finding the median from this grouped frequency table. So because we have our data in groups, so we have five numbers between 60 and 70, seven numbers between 70 and 80, ten numbers between 80 and 90 and so on, we cannot accurately get the median. But what we can do is draw a graph called an ogive, which helps us estimate what the median would be. And the ogive is a graph of the cumulative frequency of this data. So the first thing we need to do is work out what that cumulative frequency is. So we'll first create up on our table an extra column for graphing our cumulative frequency. So we throw out an extra column and we start to accumulate frequencies. That's what the cumulative frequency column is. And to do that, we take our first frequency and we accumulate it, we add it on. So we just take our first one and put five there, as this is us accumulating the first one. Then to keep accumulating more, we grab that five and we're going to add it to the next frequency, which in this case is seven and 5 plus 7 gives us 12. And we keep doing this 12 plus the next frequency, which is 10, gives us the next cumulative frequency, which is 22. And we keep adding on like this, 22 plus 12 is 34. 34 plus 8 is 42, and 42 plus 3 is 45. And we know we haven't made a mistake because we ended up at the total of 45. Because we're adding up the frequencies as we go down, we should end up with the same number. So now we can put this information onto our ogive. And our ogive is a graph of this information of cumulative frequency to class or score. So we go to our graph. I've got some a grid here to help us and we draw up our axes. So my vertical axis is going to be this cumulative frequency going up to our highest one of 45. So I'm going to start at zero and work my way up in five. So I'm going to have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this is my cumulative frequency uh, axis. So I'm just going to call it the CF axis. And then I'm going to have my horizontal axis. And that's going to be for my data or score. And that's going to graph this information on it. And we want it to go from our smallest possible number up to our largest possible number. And our smallest possible number was 60. And the largest possible number is 120. So we want to go up to those two numbers. So we're going to go from 60 up to 120. So I'm just going to start at 60 and go up in 10, 70, 80, 90. And the reason I picked 10s is because our intervals go up in 10s. If my intervals went up in 5s, I'd be going up in 5s. 100, 110, and 120. So 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, and now we have space for all our class data. So we're going to call this score or data. So that's our axes set up. Now we can graph our data on here. The only thing is we've got two numbers to pick between for our x-axis. Do I map this 5 to 60 or 70, the 12 to 70 or 80? And the answer to that really comes from the high end. Because the 45 represents the last number, the last number is between somewhere between 110 and 120. So it could be this number just below 120. So that's the number we use for our upper number. So we make our 120 be our highest number, and we use each of these to map to our points. Each one of these numbers is going to map to our cumulative frequency these numbers here. Those two numbers get mapped together. So we can do 75 
So our score of 70 gives us a cumulative frequency of 5, and we just put a dot. Then 80 goes to 12. So 80 goes to 12, and we put a dot. And we do not join these dots together, we just do dots, we join them up at the end. 90 goes to 22. So 90 goes to 22. We've got 100 going to 34, so 100 is going to 34. We have 110 going to 42, 110 going to 42. And lastly, 120 going to 45, so I can go 120 to 45. Now the thing is though, we took care of the upper end, but we haven't taken the care of the lower end. Our smallest possible number is 60. And because our cumulative frequency is effectively numbering our numbers, the zero for cumulative frequency would be at the bottom number because it's possible that we don't have, well, it would be likely that before we've even started working our way through the numbers, we have no numbers at all. Makes sense. If we haven't got any numbers before 60, we've got no data. So our 60, we get a dot at zero to represent that. There's no numbers before 60. And now we can join our dots up, and we join them up with a nice smooth curve. And ogive is a nice smooth curve joining our dots. So we don't want to do any straight lines. It's a nice smooth curve going through our dots. And that gives us our ogive. And this is a graph of how our numbers are accumulating as we go through the data. They start off accumul accumulating really slowly, then they get reasonably quickly, and then they slow off at the end. And a gra an ogive should always go like this, from low, curving its way up, to curving its way to the top. It should never start coming back down again. If you start coming back down again, it's likely you've been plotting the frequency, because notice they go up and then back down. So we do cumulative frequency, which just keeps going up. Now we can find our median. Now median is halfway. So what we want to do is find halfway. Now our bigger score is 45. So halfway, so halfway would be 45 divided by 2. Because if that's 100%, say, if we were going to think about this as a percentage, that's the full. That's all of my data. So half of my data would be halfway there. So 45 divided by 2, which means we want to find 22.5. So we find 22.5, which is there. And we go across until we meet our graph. And then... Once we've met our graph, we can then map that down to a score. And so we can go down until we get our score. And where that meets the, our score axis, we get our median. Because we've approximated by finding halfway here. We are across. And the graph then tells us when we come back down where we want to be. So our median will be something just a bit bigger than 90. So let's have a bit of a guess. That'd be 95. That'd be 92 and a half. So let's call it 92. So our median would be approximately 92. So we would use a curvy equal sign, not a straight one, to say that our median is approximately 92. So if you were asked to find the median of data in a grouped frequency table, you create up your cumulative frequency by adding up the frequencies as you go down. Graph that as an ogive. Find the halfway point on your cumulative frequency axis. Go across till you find your ogive line. Down until you find your score. And where you meet that axis on the score axis, that is an approximation of your median.